My name is Jake Duran. I'll be your host for the evening. Um, and thank you guys for coming out to Northern Kentucky's only comedy club, Commonwealth Sanctuary. Let's hear it. We got an amazing show for you guys tonight. You got your headliner, Dan Alton. Let's go. Yeah, we get your feature, Callie Bockhead. And we got a couple surprise guest spots dropping in, too. It's going to be a fun night. You guys ready? All right. All right, I'm gonna get into some jokes. This is a good one to just read the room for me, right off the top. Um, you guys think any of Jeffrey Epstein's friends saw that list and were like, dude, what the hell, man? It's not that I would have gone, it's just would have been nice to be invited, you know what I mean? Other stuff to do on the island, I bet, you know? <laughs> No, that's fun. I, uh, I recently took the 23andMe Ancestry test. Have any of you guys ever done that one before? I'm the only one that uh, is comfortable with having a clone in China. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> no, um, but it was weird, dude, because under ethnicity, there was just a QR code for Dave Matthews Band tickets. The place of origin just said Chili's. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, dude, but I found out that my family originated as a clan. I, I, I said clan, you guys tend to not that one. Um, <laughs> of Scottish sheep rustlers. Sounds kind of cool, right? So you realize, like, they're not stealing people's livestock. They're stealing their sweaters, you know? <laughs> yeah, dude, like, I was, I was hoping they'd be, like, cattle rustlers, you know, in the Wild West. It's like, that was always my favorite time in history. It's the coolest. The expansion, the exploration, and the fact that cocaine was like in everything, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> like, dude, cocaine was in toothpaste. That's rad. Like, <laughs> imagine being a child in 1890, <laughs> and your boss like, all right, Billy, get upstairs and brush your teeth. I'm like, but Paul, it makes my gums numb. I don't like it. Come on now, you know your mama wants you to. It's like, I want to, Pa, but it keeps me up all night. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, Billy. That just means it's good shit. That's all. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Please give it up for Carrie one more time, too. She's going to, uh, <laughs> Yeah, dude. <laughs> I actually used to be addicted to cocaine, if my excitement didn't tell you that already. <laughs> and, a, and a funny thing happens when you do a lot of cocaine, right? Like, you lose a lot of weight. And so my friends would ask me, like, Duran, dude, what's your secret? Like, what are you doing right? Like, guys, it's pretty simple. It's a lot like yoga, you know? It's just a lot of controlled breathing. It's just a lot of... In through the nose. And that's it, dude. That's the whole game, man. <laughs> but be careful. You won't just lose the weight. You lose everything. So just... <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I lost my dad when I was super young. He didn't die. Just can't find him. Uh, <laughs> but before you vilify him, uh, he had a terrible choice to make when I was a baby. He had to choose between... Being a father and Miller High Life. <laughs> Dude, most of us know that's the champagne of beers, right? Like, he couldn't be sure if I was going to be the champagne of sons. <laughs> he was an alcoholic, not a gambler. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, he, he and my mom split up when I was young, and uh, I got his last name, Duran. Uh, but my mom's maiden name was Swisher. And if you smoke weed, you know why that's cool. <laughs> like, dude, with a name like Jake Swisher, <laughs> I would have been the fifth member of Rocket Power. You know what I mean? <laughs> I would have been, I would have been the blunt smoking power forward that passed the Air Bud and won the big game. <laughs> but instead, I got my dad's last name, Duran. Um, so I tell people my name, right? They're like, Duran, Duran. What are you hungry like the wolf? It's like, no, Brian, I'm starved for affection, dude. It's totally different. 
That's cool. I, uh, <laughs> it's March now, right? Is anybody keeping up with their New Year's resolutions? I'm the only one that wants to change. That's fine. <laughs> no, I made a few. I made a few this year. Um, the first one was to mind my own business more. Did you have any resolutions this year? I don't care. I don't care. Because I'm minding my own business. Like when people start telling me things about themselves, I just start playing the 1997 smash hit Tub Thumping by Chumbawamba in my head. And it's pretty uplifting, right? Do we, do we know the song? I get knocked down. There it is. Oh, yeah. But but then people are talking too long, and it gets to the chorus when he's like, I get a whiskey drink, I get a vodka drink. And he says that about ten times, and that has been making quitting drinking tough. You know? <laughs> the last one, I just want to learn new things this year, you know? Like, I, I was listening to some Eminem the other day, as we do, right? Yep, it's all of us. <laughs> And I was like, dude, I wonder, he's the world's fastest rapper, right? I was like, I wonder how fast he can go. And I learned that he can rap 7.5 words a second. Isn't that impressive? I mean, that's pretty cool. And then, like, as a goof, right, I was like, you think he's ever said it? Like, you think that word's one of the words he said? I can't say it if you're curious about the word. I can't say it. <laughs> um, and when I wanted to know if he had said it, I typed two words into Google. Has Eminem. <laughs> it was the top hit. Like it was easier. It was easier to for, find the porn I like. You know what I mean? I've been stealing from Kroger too. We <laughs> like that in here. You guys are my people. Oh yeah. <laughs> Like the first time I did it, it was an accident, right? Like I just didn't pay for something in my cart. But then I kind of got like a taste for it. You know what I mean? It's like, what else can I get away with? And so as I'm sliding a dish sponge into my pocket, I make eye contact with a Kroger employee who is mid weed pen rip. And all we said to each other with our eyes were, dude, we're both doing something we shouldn't right now. I got hungry, right? Like I wanted that white, wanted that white whale, the thing I didn't think I could steal. And as I'm wheeling a TV out to my car, <laughs> I make eye contact with a guy in the parking lot wearing a Kroger t-shirt who is mid crack pipe rip. And all we said to each other with our eyes were, dude, I don't think that guy works here. <laughs> Parts of that are true. <laughs> no, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big movie guy. Um, I really love the Barbie movie. Did you guys see the Barbie movie when it came out? It was great, dude. It was like the white woman's color purple. You know, they needed one. Apparently. <laughs> but no, it was, it was great, dude. But it kind of got ruined for me on the way out of the movie. This guy in front of me and my girlfriend was like. That was pretty good, man, but they should make the next one about Ken. Dude, have you never seen another movie? Like, that's, that was the point, was that it was not about Ken. Dude, that's like walking out of Black Panther and being like, that was pretty good, man, but I hope there's a lot more white people in the sequel. <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, dude, I saw that they're, uh, they're also rethinking of making Back to the Future. They want to make Marty McFly a woman this time. And I posted this joke in its original form on the internet once, and some guy commented, what, are we going back to the future the liberals want? And I was like, dude, I made this up. Like, I don't know. <laughs> You're mad at something that doesn't exist. <laughs> Like, uh, dude, you couldn't remake Back to the Future, though, because if you remade that movie today, you'd be going back to 1994. Like, why would you come back, you know? <laughs> be sitting on your denim couch, eating a fistful of sun-dried tomatoes. 
wait for Arsenio to come on to do his thing, you know? Like, dude, we have COVID today. Back then, the only pandemic there was was Jenko jeans, you know? <laughs> and those are comfortable as hell, dude. I wear those on my face, just saying. <laughs> And I saw, I just recently saw a remake of a movie I liked, uh, the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre on, on Netflix. Have we seen that one? It's okay. I will guide you through this journey. It was quite a film. Um, a group of influencers wanted to buy a town in Texas because they wanted to turn it into a utopia for influencers to make content. And dude, that's the horror movie right there. Like, you don't need other faces not to be scary, right? And that already exists. That's Austin, Texas, you know? <laughs> and Leatherface, I liked it because Leatherface was super like progressive in this movie. Um, there's one black dude in it. Leatherface doesn't kill him. He's like, dude, I'm a serial killer, not a bigot. <laughs> and I'm not running for office, dude. There is no way I'm wearing that guy's face. <laughs> Deep cut, yeah. <laughs> Like, I don't know, dude, I just thought horror was like the wrong genre for this movie. Because what I saw was an inspirational tale of a local hero fighting gentrification. Like, that dude... <laughs> More of a Texas Chainsaw Miracle, if you ask me. <laughs> I'll do a couple more and get out of here. <laughs> yeah. You guys know the song Roses by Outkast? Clap if you know that song. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's my dirty south right there. I love you guys. <laughs> so I have anxiety, right? And it's always been tricky to like explain to people who aren't super anxious like what it feels like. And I figured it out. Because at the end of that song, Big Boy goes, crazy bitch, crazy bitch, over and over again. But if you listen to the clean version of that song, he just goes, crazy. Crazy. <laughs> it's like, dude, Big Boy, I've heard this song. Every day of my life, man. <laughs> Goes on to say, crazy, dumbass, and you should call mom. And it's like, big boy, what, dude? You know my mom? <laughs> All right, I'll get out of here on this. I, uh, <laughs> I was driving in my car on the way here, and I heard a commercial on the radio that said, driving high is worse than driving drunk. Dude, I crunched the numbers. I did the research. No, -uh, dude. No, it's not. <laughs> dude, I have friends that drive drunk, and they're like, man, I have no idea how I got home last night. I'm like, dude, when I drive high, not only can I remember how I got home, I remember every mean thing I've ever said to anyone. <laughs> like, especially the time in the sixth grade when Jessica McC McCurdy told me that I have bigger boobs than she does. And I said, Jessica, at least I fill my shirt out, man. <laughs> and that is her real name, Jessica McCurdy, MCC. You are, dude. You can search on Facebook. She's a terrible person. All right, guys, I've been taking care of you.